Good morning, and as always, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. The scientific method um, is a process, and I want to pause here for a second because there's this green asterisk on, on, the, on, on the paper, and what that means is we're going to take a moment. This is not something that we are going to specifically write every single time. We're going to talk, and just because we're talking doesn't mean you shouldn't be writing. So this is a perfect example of where you should take the time and write down what we're saying. Yeah. We, we want to encourage you. Like These are notes, but these aren't in all-inclusive notes. Really, get these down. And like we, we've said, you know, if you need to pause the video and write the notes, listen to us, or re-listen, go back. And if we add something that you think is helpful, write it on this sheet of paper next to it. Add to it and make this a better tool for you. So a process designed to answer a specific question. So a, what does a process mean? You know, for, for us in physics, it's going to be just an intentional sequence or steps that we take in, in a specific order. So one, then another, and then another. So I'm going to show what he just said as an example of what you could add to either to the bottom of your notes, the side of your notes, about the intentional steps taken in a specific order. I feel like this reminds me in chemistry of a procedure. It, it, it is a procedure. What, what we hesitate to use when we talk about the scientific process is just a procedure because sometimes the word procedure, we, we miss things and processes. We're using the word. But again, yeah, it's, it's absolutely, it's, it's a method. And, and it, it, as part of any good procedure, it, it, as any good procedure, it, it should include a step at the end to, to re-look at, at, at every step that you've taken and then reapply that. So and then that, that pulls more into this idea of what a process is and this fact that, that there, it's more than just a simple set of instructions, yeah. but there's an order and an intentional and, and intentionality to it. Really, where we're at scientifically, especially from, from the sequence of biology, chemistry, to stuff, physics, is really our investigation is, is cyclic. That once we get data and we come to an understanding, what we understand now is that scientifically we take that understanding and we apply it to our theories and our ideas and we just constantly repeat to get deeper and deeper. So the step of observe, infer, hypothesize, test, conclude, and then really it's another error going to the top of observe, infer, hypothesize, test, and conclude. So really we want to continue moving back to that first step because science is really never done. It's just we're moving on to the next thing. Exactly. We do want to just remind you again, and we know that you've got this figured out, but we've just had an experience where a lot of students still kind of struggle with this, is that idea that in order to have this procedure, you must have a dependent variable and an independent variable. If you don't have those, you're really not doing an experiment. You're probably just kind of doing an activity or a demonstration. So I actually think of it as flipped of, of, of what uh, uh, he, uh, Mr. Roberts has written here. And I think of independent first because that's what I control. I'm in charge of my independence, and so that's what I change. And the dependent variable is dependent on the independent variable. It's kind of like the people that follow you around on any kind of social media because they depend on you to post. They depend on you to, to give them your information. And so a dependent is, is what you're getting out, what the measurement is. So independent is what you change, what you control. Dependent is what is measured in, 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 our, in our science. And, and just like Mr. Schmidt said, he puts independent first. And if that's helpful to you, feel free to write independent first and dependent second. 